All right, everybody. Uh, so we're going to do part two here of the custom logos, emblems, keychains, all that good stuff. So uh, carry on from the last video, which was we made this uh, slick little Deadpool keychain. So now what we're going to do is we're actually going to uh, save it down as an STL file, put it in Cura, and uh, and get it ready to print. But we're going to do something special, and we're going to use the um, a couple of different features, uh, notably one called Posit Height in Cura. Uh, that allows me to make a filament change. So I want to print um, this base stuff in black, and I want to print this center raised portion in uh, in red. Uh, but what I need to do though is, since it's going to be a lineal, um, a horizontal cut in filament, I need to drop um, the height of this guy just a hair. So I'm going to select him. I'm going to modify, and I'm going to bring him down because I know this thing is six millimeters tall. I'm going to bring it down negative three. So there we go. Okay, and so now all of this stuff here is going to be black, and when it gets just a little bit up here, I'm going to go ahead and do that all in uh, in red. Uh, I'm going to drop these guys down to the right height as well. Uh, so let's bring that down to three. Okay, and then uh, <clears throat> I know this is a little bit of a departure from from where we went, but. Um, it's going to look cool. Now, the side effect is that the, the eyes are also going to be in red filament, but we're going to come right back over the top of those and and uh, put a little dab of paint on them and make them white and uh, slick this thing out. So so here we go. Uh, so we got it where we want. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go to Make. Uh, we're going to select the body, the whole thing. I do like a, a high refinement. This is not a big part. It's not going to tax this thing. Um, I'm just I'm not going to send it to Kira directly. I'm going to save this. It's going to prompt me for a save. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just leave it here in my downloads for now and call it Oh Deadpool. Okay, and you see the default there was uh, STL. So let's go ahead and uh, minimize this and let's roll to Kira. Kira, Kira, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. And now let's go open that file. Let's go to downloads. Let's find Deadpool logo, the one I did uh, just now. And we'll go ahead and load that. <clears throat> and we'll let it come up. And here you go. Uh, I've got all my print settings already good to go. I'm going to do this at point one. Um, uh, six walls. Is that like, I like it strong. Strong like bull. Uh, and it's going to be a 20% infill. My print temp is going to be about 215-ish. Uh, so the only trick here is normally if you wanted it all one color, you'd say save to drive and go throw it in the printer. Uh, we're going to do one quick thing. We're going to go here to uh, extensions, post-processing, and modify G-code. And I want to make sure that I pause this thing at a particular height so that I can change the filament. So I know this thing is, um, I know my cutoff is just a little over 3 millimeters, so I'm going to call this at 3.2 two millimeters. I'm going to park my print head off the model somewhere. So I'm going to park this at 20 off my X and 150 off my Y. That puts that head in a good spot for me to go get. I'm going to retract eight millimeters of filament <coughs> uh, at the default speed of 25. That's, that's absolutely fine. And then what I'm going to do is uh, when I'm done and it goes and moves the head and I just swap my filament, uh, when I resume it, I'm going to go ahead and extrude 30 millimeters. Um, <clears throat> and I'm going to call that good to go. I'm not going to mess with the redo layers or anything like that. And so from here, I'm going to go ahead and close it. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, save to drive. And you see there, I am saved. So I will come back here after this is done and I'll shoot a picture of it. And through the magic of time travel, it is finished. Uh, pretty good. Came out all right. Uh, other than I forgot to set the combing mode to no skin, hence some of the lines in the uh, in the surface running diagonal across the face. But other than that, I think it came out pretty good. Uh, you can see too, uh, right in the corner, um, right where the uh, the black color meets the red, there's about one layer. So that um, one layer that uh, was black and then did the color swap and straight to red. So there you have it. Um, oh, one other thing too, just uh, to step back, so let's look at the uh, the script. So what actually happened was, is at the pause when it moved over, uh, it actually went, started to cool off the, um, the uh, nozzle. So actually what you want to do in the standby temp here is while it's sitting there parked, 
go ahead and leave this at your normal temperature just like that um, and um, and then you avoid having to wait for the nozzle to heat back up before it starts again but it, like I said I think in my previous video if it's gonna be a while before you go make a color swap there's totally nothing wrong with that um, if you you know like this one was a little over two hours I think uh, two hours and 20 something minutes is what it actually was um, so a little over an hour I was out there and just watched it um, but if it's going to be a while before you get the opportunity to go make the color swap, then you can let this thing cool down and and uh, and then come back. And when you hit the control knob to uh, restart, uh, it'll just heat back up and then resume where it was. So anywho, uh, that's it. If you um, uh, like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and um, see you again soon in the next video. Thanks a lot.